But I have um, some gentlemen in your life, mm -hmm. and they have said some great things about you, you know, um, as far as what type of man you are, um, and how, uh, just how they feel about you, you know. And so we'll, we'll, we'll just drive the conversation from that, okay? Good, good. So this one, because I can, I, there's so many great things I can say about you, you know, and I don't want to just, you know, kind of oh, toot man. your horn. Right, toot, toot it. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought it would be cool, yeah. besides me um, saying all these amazing things about you, because you already know that, but there are some gentlemen in your life uh, who have some special words to share. So the first person is your best friend, one of your best friends, Omar. Yeah. And and I said, like, what what kind of man is he? What what is he like? And he said, you are a stand up guy, you're goal driven, and you're self made. Your brother, your baby brother, Matthew. He said, you are a protector, charismatic, and you're a thinker. Mm. Your son. Said you're funny, silly, cool, heroic, and fresh daddy. Fresh daddy. <laughs> so he think you fly. And then the last guy in your life, um, the reason why you're a junior is your father. Mm -hmm. And this was very lengthy. Um, so here it goes. Daddy said you are a great son, well respected by his family and friends. He will give the shirt off his back. Trusted always goes above and beyond to make sure family knows that they are loved and taken care of. I'm not done. He can talk. <laughs> he can talk to anyone on all levels. He is modest. He is humble. A friendly guy. Great listener. Always seeking knowledge so that he can be effective at whatever he set out to accomplish. He's mannerable. He's polite. He's a well-rounded guy. He is a number one dead. Exclamation mark. Mm. He's the 2.0 version of me, the new and improved, as he says. And I am very proud of the man he has become. He is the perfect example of a good black man. I appreciate that, boss. <laughs> if you're watching. <laughs> and so um, I thought that 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 would be my way um, besides me tooting your horn and letting mm. you know how an amazing you know, dope black brother you are yeah. um, out in the community and just in your family and a man as a whole to start us off. So I I thought it would be cool to talk to you because I know we have a lot of cool conversations, yeah. you know. And, and one of the funny things is even though you are my brother, it's, it seems like you're like the big brother. Yeah. <laughs> but, you, but you're the younger, you're my youngest brother. Oh, so. And my youngest, like my baby brother, one of my baby brothers, I mean, you don't play about me. You are such a protector. Uh, I never forget, I remember a time years ago, I was dating a guy, and um, it was like, you know, during that breakup stage. Right. And you, you probably have been like 19 or 20, mm -hmm. and you said, Crystal, don't pick up that phone. It's done. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> and so you always been that person. At that, age, you know, you were that young and you were just still always protective. You were, um, you know, just loving. And also, you always remind me at, of my work. And usually, you know, you hear it from the, you know, opposite, but you always remind me of my work. And I want to bring that up because I think it's so important. For women to have good quality relationships with the opposite sex. They don't want anything from them. You know, they're not trying to take advantage of them. And so I really, really appreciate that. That you provide that to me. You give that to me. And I want to ask you though. Like what, where do you think that came from? Why are, you know, what, what is that about? What about <clears throat> just being a protector male, male and, and, and and knowing how to um, affirm me as a woman? Well, first I want to say thank you for interviewing me. I, it felt kind of weird because I'm like, what you want to interview me for? I don't really feel like I'm somebody to interview, but I I know we always have a lot of good conversations and a lot of interesting conversations. So I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, this conversation. But if I had to think. 
I mean, for me, it's just more so because of the, like, I value the women that's in my life. Like, the black women in my life has been, like, a, back, a backbone in my family. So I really value what you guys bring, what you bring to me, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, you give that same thing to me. So it's only right that I give that back to you. So I kind of think of it like that, in a sense. I mean, just in terms of, I just want you to, I want you to feel good about yourself. You know what I'm saying? I, I look at you so highly, so I want you to feel the same way about yourself. So it's just more so just about me being that person that's just speaking life into you. Because yeah. you do it to me, so it's just, I would say more so reciprocal, more than just me just... It's just me. It's not one sided. Mm -hmm. I would say it's it's two sided. We do it for each other. But I mean, I, I appreciate that you appreciate it so much. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That I'm I'm that person for you, which makes me want to do it even more because I know that you appreciate it. Okay. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Yeah, you money, man. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you really do, and I think I think it's important to have that um, you know relationship and have that connection right. because. You, we get to, I get to get a lens of, you know, how you're thinking, particularly how men are thinking, and vice versa. We have these great conversations about everything in life. Of course, we talk about relationships, and so I think it's important for uh, everyone, men and women, to understand that we need each other. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because I think we need the, the perspective of, of the opposite sex, too. Right. You know, sometimes as men, you know, like I said, you, you get one perspective all the time, you know, it's kind of get a little jaded because you're not getting it from the other side. So it's good to get it from from the opposite sex because you may have a different perspective that maybe I didn't look at in that moment. Or I, I think, like I said, just black women in general, I just feel like y'all just, y'all y'all empower us. Like sometimes we forget who we are or, or uh, you know, you may forget your, yourself in certain situations. And like I said, you always reminded me of myself, always reminded me of who I am, building me up, looking at me in such a high regard. I'm like, man, I'm, but I mean, it's, but you know, it's the same for me too. Cause yeah. you feel it just like you feel made me good. feel like yeah. I could do anything, and I'm yeah. like, I, I don't know about that, but right. no, you could do it, you could do it, and yeah. so yeah, it's it's just it's it's such a good feeling. You know, yeah, sure. and, and then too, sometimes, you know, there's people that don't get along with their siblings like that, you know, so to consider you as my friend and not just my friend, like I consider yeah. you as one of my best friends. Yeah, and that's what I really appreciate about, about our, our relationship and just the, even the four of us, all of our siblings, mm -hmm. uh, shout out to Brittany, shout out to Matthew, mm -hmm. you know, if y'all on here, what's up, man, you know, <laughs> like my mom say the way for you know, we don't, we, we're not all in the same state, not all in the same place, but our bond is like this. Our bond is definitely like yeah, that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you know, people argue with they, with they, uh brother and sister, me and two of them. Like, a lot of problems that some people be like, I don't have those problems. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't deal with that. I don't, I don't know if that's not normal or, you know what I'm saying, if I should be happy or, you know what I'm saying, feel, I don't know, blessed for that or whatever. But, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, I love my siblings. I mean, I feel like they're my best friends. So, yeah, yeah. For sure. Yeah. And so, everybody calls you a super dad. But I, I have to agree. You <laughs> are definitely, you are definitely a great dad. And, you know, you were able to see our father be that. So, what, you know, what do you think that you got from your father? And just men in your village that has helped you to be such a great superhero. Man. I mean, my dad wasn't real big on talking like that. But seeing his moves, how he handled his business, how he treated other people, how, yeah, like my dad was just always been somebody that a lot of people look to. And he's not really talkative like that. So for people to, you know, confide in him or look up to him, I just always admired that. I always wanted to be like that. You know, so I always wanted to be somebody that people can come to and like <clears throat> give advice or get advice. Or, you know, just, just anything, you know, just an all-around man. Like, mm -hmm. I can I talk to a young dude or something like that. And, you know what I'm saying, give some game. I always like older OGs. That's what I call them, OGs that give game and that, you know, just give real good advice. Mm -hmm. So even at, in my younger, my younger years, I've always tried to be that. Or, you know what I'm saying, 
exude or whatever the word may be, uh, what I was taught. You know what I mean? So a lot of stuff that I learned was really was from what I saw, what I experienced. I can just name off many men that, that you know what I'm saying, took the time out to, you know what I'm saying, sit me down and have conversations with me, to talk with me. So I, I've never been somebody that was, you know, scared to take advice or or anything. And I think that's why a lot of people respect me because they know, especially like the OGs or whatever, because mm -hmm. they know that I'm going a, I'm to a take what they say. I'm not going to just, you know what I'm saying, shoot it off or whatever. I take in what they say and, you know, I try to give it out too. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you, you've yeah. been an OG because you've been an OG for me. <laughs> yeah, man. People be calling me, uh, what, all right, uncle. They call you aunt. Yeah, some people call me grandpa. All right. <laughs> yeah, man, I don't like that. I mean, I ain't like that. But you know, it's, it's the wisdom. It's the wisdom yeah. you got. So what do you think, you know, we're talking about these people, these guys in your life, positive, um, you know, male figures. What do you think, like, give me like three things that you think a man should, you know, embody. Integrity. I, f I feel like number one. Because, like, I mean, your words should mean something. When you say something, when you, you know how you move, how you move matters. Um, you said three things. Mm -hmm. Man, say the question one more time. Please. What are some like? What are some things that you feel that every man should embody? You know how, mm -hmm. as far as like carrying yourself as a man. Integrity. Uh, I guess I'll just name off some stuff. I may not be three. Integrity. Um, confidence. Wisdom, swag. I'm, swag. I'm big on swag. You came with it today, huh? I mean, you I knew you was. I didn't really do too much. <laughs> yes. Uh, swag. Um, man, I feel like I'm, I'm. I'm gonna know some words later, but it's mm -hmm. more. It's more than just that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. It's. it's I don't know. It's just an embodiment. Mm -hmm. like, you know what I'm saying? Being confident in who you are, wisdom, uh, leadership. You know, I, I'm big on. I'm big on that. Leadership being a being a um, a role model, mm -hmm. you know, a protector, provider, being a provider. I love, you know, like I said, taking care of my kids. Um, now you brought a provider, and I'll, I'm gonna pivot a little <laughs> you bit. You gonna talk about that? <laughs> the whole, the whole, yeah. I'm gonna pivot a little bit. We'll we'll come back to you know, uh, you know how men carry themselves, but yeah. you know that it's a the topics. Yeah. About relationships and providing. Yeah, it's about to get serious. <laughs> <laughs> what do you, I, you know? What do you, what do you feel about that? In this, in this, it depends uh, on it depends on what what you saying. Like, what are we talking about? Mm -hmm. So you know the the whole word like the fifty ninety the ninety. You know, yeah, all the 90. arguments that are going on not right now, social media, and how men should provide, or them having a certain um, you know amount of income and all of that. Like, what's your take on that? Mm. I'm just trying to say nothing crazy. Um, I do believe that men should be should be providers. I do believe that that men should should handle certain certain things. Like I said, my my father did that. I saw my father take care of responsibilities. You know what I'm saying? When when my mom car went down, he took you know just took care of that type of stuff. Provided. In terms of bills and things of that nature, I think it just all depends on, on on your relationship. It depends on the situation that you're in, um, and it depends on where you are. I mean, I, honestly, I don't really feel like a man that's not financially stable should really be taking care of, or, you know, not I'm not gonna say not being in a relationship, but just you know, what I'm saying it's a lot having a woman. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to be able to to provide. In, in a lot of different ways. So, uh, so do you, you, so yeah, are you saying you think I'm, that I'm they little, should, um, yeah, there are certain little, things that they should do or have, yeah. you know, if they're in your household, mm -hmm. if they're in your household, yes. <laughs> now, in terms of like how these men, I feel like they're gonna mess it up for a lot of us, like they just, just be splurging and, and just all of that stuff. I guess the word is trick. You know, I don't necessarily believe in that because, mm -hmm. I mean, if you got the money to do it, you know what I'm saying, you got it. That's a whole other subject. But, uh, 
I feel like, you know, helping. It's helping the woman. You know what I'm saying? Don't do too much because you still want her to do something. You don't want her to get too comfortable, in my opinion. I feel like it should be a partnership. I'm, I'm big on being equally yoked. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's very important for me because, you know, you can do too much. I mean, because we ain't, we ain't all drug dealers, basketball players, um, you know, big big money guys, whatever. I don't know what the median is. I feel like all oh my guys, we, we do pretty good money-wise. Mm -hmm. So we kind of all kind of had a, the same thing when it comes to taking care of or just providing, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, where it'd be a home, you know what I'm saying, you know, dates, all that type of stuff. So does that, does that like, is it triggering or is it bothering you when you see things like that online? No, I'm honestly just tired of the conversation. Okay. Because every, every relationship is different. You know what I'm saying? Everybody want the same relationship, just like everybody, every woman wants the same man. Mm -hmm. There's so many different type of men, mm -hmm. so many different type of women. So I, I think it's all based on the person that you're with. If you if you with a woman that has, you know what I'm saying, some finances and y'all, you know what I'm saying, and she hopefully she willing to help, or you know what I'm saying, you may not have that much money as the, as the next guy or whatever. But you know, it's more than just being a man and just giving out money. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I have these conversations a lot. And women want more than just the financial, the serious ones, the, the real women. You know what I'm saying? They're looking for the emotional aspect, um, the emotional aspect to it. Um, and you know what's been, and I didn't mean to cut your thought off, yeah, but you know what has changed now from generations past yeah. is the emotional part of you know mm -hmm. like women saying hey and that's tricky you know because you don't want to give too much because because women will use that against you so that that's kind of tricky you gotta you gotta know that you can really trust that woman with with that because how do you know how do you know. Mm -hmm. That's a good question. How, how I, I guess I can ask you. How would you go about? How would you go about that with your with your with your man? Do what I know if about? I trust them? Yeah. How, how you know? How would you say? Safety. You know, safety is big for me. Mm -hmm. If you know, um, safety and just knowing that um, you have my best interest at heart. You know. Um, Things like that. Yeah, that's a that's a good one. So like you said, yeah. like how a, a man, like how a woman, how a woman cares for you, how she take care of you yeah. in times of when you're sick. You know what I'm saying? She bring you back to health. When when you uh, <laughs> when you sick, she bring you back to health. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Just having certain conversations. Do she make your plate when y'all when y'all out? You know what I'm saying? Does, does she make your plate? Mm -hmm. uh, and you know, trust how is, she with your kids? And trust is you know to me is built over time. You know, yeah, you, yeah. you have to watch. You know, you get to right, watch right, and you right. get to build so, yeah, and you, you get to learn a person. Yeah, you don't yeah. just automatically just that take time. It takes time. Because I know for me, I can be like a brick wall sometimes. So mm -hmm. some things take time for me. Are you in therapy, my brother? Yes, I am. Okay. Yes, 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 I am. Speaking of that big brick wall, what what have you done? Because I like. I know you my whole your whole your whole mm -hmm. life and I've seen you evolve and steady evolving and changing right. you know you had different challenges and you've grown um, you've excelled you're doing well in your career you know you're a great father you, you own your own home <laughs> you know all these different type of things uh, so how are you take how are you taking care of yourself and to make sure you you know, overcome just being a brick wall because in relationships, you know, you can't always be a brick wall. Yeah, I feel like for me, I'm 30 now. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'll say since I was like 28, 29, I've just been a little more self reflecting, um, looking at myself a little more. Uh, like I said, it just kind of goes to trust. I think you can be a little too, too blocked off. To where like you're not showing yourself enough, and that kind of pushes people away from you, and you like, man, why am I, you know, getting this type of people that I want in my life and things of that nature? You have to be a little bit more open, and not care so much about what other people think, and just be a, just be more confident in yourself and who you are, and be okay with some people not, not uh, 
liking you or not liking the person that you are versus you know the next person or whatever just being okay with, with, with who you are I, I've gotten a little more comfortable with myself mm -hmm. it took me a long time to, to just be okay with who I was mm -hmm. just in a sense of being a, a with, you know a church boy just growing up in a church um, maybe not being looked at as the hardest guy mm -hmm. you know I'm being called pre boy all, you know all of these different type of stuff just what other names they call you no, we're not gonna do that <laughs> so we got we got we got grandpa no, we're not gonna do that we got OG name. <laughs> we got all these names I didn't know you was a pretty boy yeah I don't really believe in that I don't think I am you're pretty handsome though you're pretty handsome yeah but I mean I'm, I'm more than that mm -hmm. yeah I mean I don't really feel like I'm you got a mind too yeah <laughs> You got a mind. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, you yeah. just you ain't just a pretty face. Yeah, yeah. I don't even really feel like that. I'm, yeah, yeah. I feel you on that. So let's 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 go into uh, more into fatherhood. You know, you have two children. They are my joys. I call them my joys. I, I I feel like they're my. You know, they're a gift to yeah. me. Right, right. <laughs> they have been a gift. They have been a joy. Um, I'll do anything for them, but you're their father, and you, I mean, you, you're a superhero. What does uh, your children mean to you, and individually? Because you have, you've been blessed, you have a son, and, and you have a daughter. Yeah. So um, you can be done. My, I, I want to be. <laughs> <laughs> my, my kids mean everything to me, man. Like, over anything for me, that's, I wouldn't say that defines me, but like, I feel like that's job number one for me. You know what I'm saying? Their well-being, their how they're being taken care of. You know what they learn in school. Like I'm the type of father. I'm I want to be a part of everything. Mm -hmm. I know sometimes I can be a little overbearing, or I don't think it's overbearing, but just you know what I'm saying. I want to know everything that's going on. I want to be a part of be a part of everything. Um, sometimes I can think a little too much. You know what I'm saying? Just about you know what's going on with them, or you just just how they're. How they're doing? I mean, I, 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 like I said, I just love, I just love my kids. They, they give me purpose. They give me drive. They give me uh, just a sense of pride. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? When you look at your son, what does, what does that do for you? Man, it made me look at myself because I, a lot of people say he looked just like you, or he remind, he remind me of you when you were little. So like when I'm seeing him. And I see like little things that he do. I'm like, man, I really do do that. I really do that, huh? Mm -hmm. Or you know what I'm saying? Or I'll, sometimes I'm a little too hard because I'm trying to catch him from not doing this and not mm -hmm. doing that. I'm like, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do this. But understand that you know I turned out okay, so he'll turn out okay too. Mm -hmm. um, what about Navy Lady? When you look at your daughter, man, that's my heart. My little sour patch kid. Um, she just bring me joy. I just, I just, I love her. That's my baby. That's my twin. In terms of how, you know, how she look. Mm -hmm. like I, I can't deny her. She looks just like me. She does. She just had mm -hmm. got her pictures for uh, school, and I'm like, oh my god, like everything, mm -hmm. just look just like me. We're here. She do. She <laughs> yeah, do. So it's I feel like the older she's getting, you know, you can just see it even more. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. That, that's my baby. So, yeah, she she can she be getting over on me. Mm -hmm. she, she get over on me a lot. So if I were to ask my niece and nephew, um, what's something that daddy says, what would they say? Be a leader, not a follower. Um, yeah, that's big for me. Be a leader, not a follower. Um, I don't know, I feel like I say a lot of stuff, it depends on the And is there anything, the um, you know, that you have gotten from your father that you see that you do with your kids well like as my, far as the like in the communication part like i said i try to do a little bit more of that because like i said my, my dad talks I'm, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna say him say like he didn't talk but but he maybe not talk to us as much because we you know we was in a two-parent household so i feel like mom kind of did a little bit more of that mm -hmm. so knowing that you know i'm not you know physically with their mom in the same household uh, you know, I try to have a little more conversations or try to talk to them a little bit more just mm -hmm. to see how their day is going, um, what's going on in school, how, how are they feeling, you know what I'm saying, Th things like that, what they want to do, mm -hmm. you know, 
stuff like that. So in terms of just communicating, I try, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, like for me, like I said in the beginning, I could be a little controlling and trying to control so much. I'm just trying to give them just a little bit more grace, just in terms of them just being children and, and understanding their journey and, and where they are, even though they're so young and where they are in their life. They're just trying to enjoy, enjoy more. And then, you know, just throwing a little stuff here and there when it's needed, mm -hmm. but trying to, trying to let them be them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying, but I'm, you know, but understanding that I still got, I got to guide them a little bit. So it, it's being a parent. It's it's a lot. One, and you learn and you learn a lot about yourself too. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean. One of the moments that was um, a latest moment that was a highlight that I was like, I'm just so proud of him. Is when you took Navy Lady to the Daddy Daughter Dance. Oh yeah, that was cracking. Yeah, that was. Cracking. I mean, it. And it's it, and I'm always amazed because it doesn't matter like our age, like yeah. women and girls, like we girls, you know. Oh, and yeah. she was just in heaven. No, she was, and I, I'm not gonna say I don't ever really see her in that. Mm -hmm. But it was just that day. She was just. She was. It was man. It was she, something else. She, like her mama, got her all together, got her nails done, got her hair hair did, her face done. You know what I'm saying? They had they whole little day. And then I got the, the like the little corsage and, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Like I'm looking forward to this year. Like I'm like I'm waiting to, to already, sign yeah. back up because I I, I want to do that again. And she every once in a while, like every two three weeks to a month, she be like, Daddy, when are we doing that again? Really? Yeah, she loved yeah. that man. She, yeah. She loved that. So that just that just told me too. Like I said, that just told me too. Like okay, I just need to I need to continuously do that, make her feeling good about herself and, and fathers are very important in their in their their daughters' lives. Um, yeah. Very important in their daughters' lives. I don't want my daughter to be one of those those young ladies that don't that didn't have a daughter in their life. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of lost women out here. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna yeah, but I just want <laughs> You're not gonna die. I don't wanna get that. too much into that. Yeah. Okay. But but yeah, I, I just I don't want her to, 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 to suffer from that. Mm -hmm. So I try to be there as much as I can. Mm -hmm. So, you know, what are some things that you tell her, you know, in your talks? I call her my princess. You're beautiful. You're smart. You're a lady. Um, you know, just carrying yourself, carrying herself in a, in a certain way. And she only five. So it's only so much that I say right mm -hmm. now, but just continuously telling her how beautiful she is, how smart she is. How she's a lady. Hey, handle yourself like a like a young lady. You know what I'm saying? Just just more so stuff like that. Just how she carries herself, how how she presents herself. You know, I, I don't I want her to always feel like she's beautiful, especially with her being a dark skinned woman. I, I want her to know that she she's gorgeous, she's beautiful, her hair mm -hmm. is beautiful. Like I just continuously just tell her that all the time. Yeah. And she know. And feed it. Yeah. Uh, most definitely. Yeah, she she knows. She <laughs> yeah. knows. But But it's yeah. it's important. It's I I don't think it's never too much, especially you know, you as her father, mm -hmm. you know, that helps with her as she grows and, and right. then she start having her own relationships. So that definitely helps. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, and it's gonna yeah, because she really challenge she challenges me too. Mm -hmm. Because my son is just a little more, you know, he's like me, smooth, agreeable. He's not gonna really challenge challenge uh, me too much, mm -hmm. you know. He like I said, he's a charming and he's he's about you know getting along and and doing what he's supposed to do. So he's not as challenging in that sense. But her, she spicy. She bring the heat. Yeah, she bring the heat. Like I I, I gotta always be on my toes. I can't take no break when it come to her. I gotta always be on point. <laughs> so <laughs> no days off. No day. Yeah, no days off. So. Mm -hmm. So yeah, she like I said, she shows me another side about myself too, mm -hmm. just being patient and just just all of that. Just yeah. Mm -hmm. She 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 really challenges me a lot. Let's get back to the mental health and you know, you said you go to therapy. Mm -hmm. Um how do you think that has helped you in your journey of, you know, like uh loving yourself, um just being the best version of you? Well, I'm still going through it. Mm -hmm. I still feel like it's a lot of things that I need to unpack. With, with myself that it kind of helped me um, understand some things about myself mm -hmm. but um, I, I definitely think like I, like we were saying just being more open being more willing to talk about certain things because you know when you're in therapy even though they're there to help you if you don't say or you don't speak on you know your experiences and, and the things that you've been through you know they can't really help you 
So I'm just trying to, I'm, through that, I'm just trying to be more open and being being more willing to to uh, just open up. Because mm-hmm. like I said, I'm, 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 I can be so closed in, you know what I mean? So just, just being a little more, little, being a little bit more open, like again, just being more self-aware and that's what is helping me right, like right now. So like I'm still, I'm still working through a lot of things, but just being more self-aware, being, being more open and, and being just like I said, being more okay with being who I am, you know what I'm saying? Being okay with who I am and, and where I am in my life. And that things aren't as bad or as as hard as I may think that they are, because I can be so hard on myself. So giving myself grace. I know mm. that's something that I struggle with, giving myself grace, because um, I can be so hard on myself because of the things that I feel like I've been through. Mm-hmm. Even though a lot of things is is just life. You mm-hmm. know? So I'm just going I'm just going through life. But you know what I'm saying, feeling like, well, you know, I wish this even happened. But at the same time, if I didn't go through that stuff, it, it wouldn't make me who I am. Right. right. Yeah. So, like I said, just really just being okay with me. And so accepting how do you, me. Yeah. So with that, though, because, you know, when we go through stuff and you we think about, oh, I may have to forgive this person. But, like, how do you deal with forgiving yourself, Um, you know, from certain things you may have done or you feel like? Why, why was I in this situation? You know, how do you deal with that? Because that can be a challenge, you know. And I know for me personally that, you know, that I've had time experience where that was a challenge. And we don't often think about that. Like, yes, you have to forgive other people. But, like, forgiving yourself for, you know, knowing that, okay, it happened. You were in that situation. And some things that you couldn't control, you know, um, and may you know maybe it wasn't your fault, but now you have to figure out how do you you know how do you deal with that? How do you overcome that? Well, taking accountability for my part, mm-hmm. I think it's big on just all of us, men and women, just to take an account of taking accountability for for our for our uh, the, the the roles that we played in certain situations. Mm-hmm. So, like again, like I said, just being self aware and looking back on the situation. And seeing, you know, like something, like like you said, some things you you didn't experience yet, so you didn't know how to go about certain things. You didn't you didn't know how, you know, you would handle certain situations until you handled it. Mm-hmm. So I just, like I said, just giving myself grace and just learn, you know, learning from it and understanding that it was a lesson more so than just beating myself up all the time on it. So I tried. I try to just take it as a lesson, and I mean I'm still okay. Mm-hmm. I'm still good. I'm still I'm still I'm still blessed. I'm still uh, I I still have great relationships with people. I still you know I'm still I'm still a good person. Mm-hmm. So just understanding that it just the process and it's just a part of life. Mm-hmm. You just you just go through things and you have certain experiences. But again, like I said, like just a whole OG or you know people looking at me a certain way. I probably wouldn't be able to give certain right, advice yeah. or certain, yeah, certain, uh, you know, just having certain conversations with people. I just feel like it kind of makes me a little bit more real rounded. It makes me more relatable. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm not this perfect person. Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't think that I am. I don't. I don't know. If, I don't. I don't feel like people look at that, at me like that either. But you know what I'm saying? Just I feel like it just makes me more relatable. Mm-hmm. Makes me more real. So what are some of the things that you um, share with your friends or, you know, you work around students, um, you know, you lead a team. Like, what are some advice would you give to young men and to even to people on your your team? I'm big on not being a follower. Um, A lot of stuff that we do, especially even more now with social media, you know what I'm saying? Everybody want to be a particular person. Just trying to tell people just to be, be, be themselves, or, or just don't, just don't be a follower. Like you know, right from wrong. Be be okay with maybe not being like the coolest person or the the whatever that person is. You know, focus on you and and building up yourself. I know for me, I mean, I I, I wasn't always the 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 most sought after or had the most money or this that and the third, but. You know, in my older age, you know, as you grow and as you work on yourself, eventually, you know what I'm saying, when the money comes, when the 
when uh, accomplishments come, when all that stuff come, all the rest of that stuff will come. So don't rush. Mm -hmm. You don't have to rush the process. Be okay with where you are and grow. And I feel like being young is <laughs> is better than money. You know what I'm saying? If you have youth, you have time to grow. You have time to to build. You know what I mean? By the time you get my age, 29, 20, 29, 30, and it's things that I wish I would have did at that age. And you have the time to do that. Like, bro, understand where you are and and don't waste it. Mm -hmm. Don't 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 mess up where don't mess up don't mess up that. You know what I mean? Cause because I know how it is where you can just be doing stuff just to be doing stuff, and then time passes and then you lose time. You don't want to lose time. Time is very valuable. So that's that's the thing that I always talk about, just like, man, I understand where you at. Like I'm not gonna get on you about messing up. But okay, learn from that. You 19, you 20. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Stay on, get back like on, get back on track because you're going to make mistakes. Everybody's going to make mistakes. Mm -hmm. I ain't too big on judging people like that. I'm really not because I'm not perfect. Mm -hmm. So, and I done been through a lot. So, I don't too much judge people like that. But, you know what I'm saying? I try to get on my perspective and try to try to help as best as I can. Yeah. How would your, your team describe you as a leader? I wouldn't say hard. I wouldn't say hard. Um, man, that's a good question. Yeah, because, I mean, that's you know, you, you you have, you know, you're excelling, you've moved up, um, you know, on your job, you're doing well mm -hmm. for yourself, and you're leading a team. Yeah, so. I, I, honestly, I feel like I'm a little laid back. Okay. I mean, I, I definitely say stuff here and there. I feel like I could be a little more hard. You know what I'm saying? You want to turn it up a notch? A little bit. Okay. A little bit. <laughs> okay. <You're ready. laughs> a little bit. Uh, no, I mean, I, I think I could be a, like a little stern. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, I, I, I do think I'm, I'm, I do well with communicating. Mm -hmm. Like that's something that I try to, try to really work on. Like if I see a problem or something like that, I'm not big on like trying to embarrass anybody. Or try to put somebody out on front street, mm -hmm. I, you know, sit them to the side and, you know, have a conversation like, hey, can we improve on this? We can improve on that. But, you know, after a couple conversations, then, you know, now we need to do different things. Um, so I think that's what I, I try to lead in that way. Try to be, re, try to relate to that person because every, everybody is different. I don't, I don't handle or deal with everybody the same. So, you know what I'm saying? Every everybody has their own problems and and things that they deal with. So I try to meet them where they are in that moment and then just kind of work from there. So I feel like I feel like my people, uh, they probably would say I'm cool, I'm laid back, but I mean if I if I have something to say, I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it. You turn it up? No, I'm definitely not turning up because I it ain't that it ain't that good. Mm -hmm. like that. But I, I'm I'm gonna have a conversation and you know, we're gonna we're gonna talk about it. Because you know what I'm saying I'm I'm big like I said I'm big on integrity and just like maybe not necessarily the image but you know what I'm saying what having pride in what you do mm -hmm. having pride pride in and 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 your what's the word I'm looking for just having pride in and you know who you are you know what I'm saying when somebody comes to my school or when somebody comes in, into my place I want them to you know what I'm saying okay this looks nice or whatever or they know. Okay, you know, Nate over here, or you know what I'm saying, him and his team, you know, they they they, they doing things the way that they're supposed to. So I, I like I said, I take pride in that. I take pride in and my my stuff being together and, and being right. Mm hmm Yeah. And by the way, I'm I'm always proud, but I'm super, super proud of you, you know, of just doing what you're doing, you know. I'm doing all right. I'm you know, right. and you be looking like but no, because you know, leading people and managing people is not easy. You know, you're yeah. managing personalities and all those different things. So I'm super proud of you that you decided to just keep elevating. Keep, yeah. you know, okay, what's next? Okay, this is next. You know what? I'm going to go for it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to try it. I'm going to yeah. see what it's like. And one thing about you that I know is that you you want to, and I, and I believe Matthew said it, um, but you are, I can't remember which one of the, the guy said it, but you're always going to make sure, okay, if this is what I'm doing, let me prepare myself. Yeah. You know, let me see what I have to do. 
and I'm like, um, it was just so funny to me. Like it was, it's some, um, some book that we shared and like, you wasn't playing no games. Oh yeah, the yeah, leadership yeah, book. Yeah, when yeah. I was about to get to the school. Yeah, so you yeah. know, you 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 be on it. You be on yeah, it. Yeah, I try to be because, like I said, I'm real hard on myself. So like my mental, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. I, like I said, being more self aware, I understand that if I'm if I'm not focused or I'm not, you know, what I'm saying I can kind of veer off and and my mind be all over the place. Mm -hmm. So when I do feel like I'm about to do something that's important or some or I'm going into something, I try to put myself in that mindset so that I can be prepared for it. Because even if you don't do everything right, at least if you prepare or that you, you know what I'm saying, that you did what you needed to do to, you know what I'm saying, you will eventually improve and, and, and get better at that. Mm -hmm. But just at, like with my job, I mean, like I said, I, I just, I, me personally, I know, like my mom don't like when I said, I just feel like I just kind of took the cards that I was dealt mm -hmm. and just try to make the best of them. You know what I mean? Do I feel like I'm doing something? Yeah, but you know what I'm saying? I, I guess because I always looked at myself a certain way. Mm -hmm. I always feel like I could do more. But I mean, at least if I'm going to be in it, mm -hmm. I'm going to try to do the best that I can. So, so where do you see yourself in the next five years or so? You know, three to five years. What are you, what's a goal that you can share with us? Well, um, I, I like real estate. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I'm saying? If I can get it. You know, I, l I like the duplexes and the multifamilies. So if I can do a little more investing in those, that that would that would that would be great. Um, I guess like right now, cause I, I I'm, I'm I've always been like real big on on me 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 and and stuff like that. I think my my goal is to get my kids to to be at a certain place so that they can be they can be good mentally and socially emotionally. Like I would say, that's that's my goal. Like right at this moment, mm -hmm. I want I want them to be in a good in a, in a good place in a good environment, um, so that they can grow and be the be the people that they, you know, that they're supposed to be. But if I can say, I mean, um, I mean, I'm, where I'm at right now, I mean, yeah, I think about different things like maybe like supervisor or you know project manager or things like that, some some type of leadership role. Okay, so just like continuing to evolve Yeah, just continue leadership. to evolve, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Continue to evolve because just like I was saying, you know, I can be so stuck on just progressing, progressing, progressing and not just being okay with where I am and and being fine with, with, with where I am and enjoying, and enjoying it or just, you know what I'm saying, growing, not having to always accomplish something every single time. I think mm -hmm. a lot of times, especially like with social media and just like where we are, we always feel like we're not doing enough or we're not where we're supposed to be. But I mean, I think I'm, I think I'm in a good spot right now. Mm -hmm. So yeah, still just trying to figure, I'm, I'm still figuring, figuring that out in terms of, of like my job. But just right now, I just want to grow within myself and with with my children and then I, I just feel like all the other stuff will just come it'll, it'll you align. know all that stuff yeah. will just align it'll it'll happen in the way it's supposed to mm -hmm. you know what i mean because i'm 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 always growing and that stuff has kind of been the easy part in a sense so i'm i'm kind of focused on like more personal right now so yeah so a little bit you know here and there real estate stuff like that but like my kids and and me growing is my is my focus right now. Mm -hmm. So would you say you know because um, this is half conversations that matter. Yeah. What would you say um, out of all we discuss? What matters to you the most? You know what's 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 going on? You know with you just in the world. What matters to you? What's important to you? You know. Mm. We know I know family is important. Yeah, to family you. is important to me. Um. um yeah, you got you got you might have to name some stuff like when you say what's in, what's important. We want to know what matters to you. What what, what are we gonna be able to take away? Ooh, take away from me. I'm sorry. Um, what matters to me is just continuously growing. Um, like I said, knowing knowing myself, 
mm -hmm. um, continuously improving, um, being a good role model, um, being someone, being someone that that young guys or people can look up to and count on. But at the same time, I know that takes that's that's a lot of responsibility. So that's why I say for me, it's me improving myself because I do have some people that that do look up to me or that. Does that make you nervous? I don't think it makes me okay. nervous. I just kind of, I just think it just makes me want to be better. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I want to, yeah. I, I, I want to live up to to that guy mm -hmm. or that or whatever whatever that person is. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I want to, I want to live up, live up to that. So, uh, what matters to me is is just um, being being a better me, being a better friend, being a better person. You know what I'm saying? Um, Cause yeah, like I said, I'm I'm in a pretty good place right now, you know what I mean. But it's some things that I may have neglected a little bit, mm -hmm. and just just improving improving on those things. And I just feel like that stuff will that stuff will happen, especially just in just even like with God. Mm -hmm. Like I need to I need to I need to deep dive deeper into that. You know what I'm saying? My walk with God and just understanding what my what my overall purpose is. Mm -hmm. So that matters to me. Yeah, just just trying to be a. I just want to be a better a better person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just so constantly just, yeah, just constantly evolving just your constantly personally, evolve personal to, growth. Yeah, yeah, personal growth. Um, just you know, yeah, just trying to be a, a good person. I hope mm -hmm. I hope I answered that. No, I you answer it how how it's supposed yeah, to be right, answered because right. it's what matters to you. Yeah. You know, um, your personal growth and you know just continually to evolve and as a man and you know um i know that you're doing the work and mm -hmm. that's one of the reasons why i wanted you to come on and have conversations yeah, that matter that. podcast you know because you're a good brother you know you're my brother yeah. but you're a good brother that's striving to do the work and to you know put your your little handprint on um you know things in the earth to help things to be better and yeah, so i'm trying to now i'm trying i'm trying i'm trying to improve yeah, I so said let's let's get Junior on here. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and, and tell us you know what matters to him and just how you have evolved. And so I I really just want to celebrate you. You know, give you your flowers as you're growing, um, and let you know that you are a great example of a beautiful, um, evolving black man. Thank you. And you know I thank you for who you are in my life. How you help me in my personal growth as well, because one thing that you do for me, you are you are you could be pretty hard on me. You you yeah, man, you, you don't mean, you don't let me settle for anything. I, I don't have should. any leg room with you. I, I, you know? I mean, I don't try to be like this super cocky person or whatever. Yeah. But I feel like we we've been blessed mm -hmm. uh, in a lot of different ways, not naming anything per se. So I feel like you know what I'm saying. And yeah, we we've been blessed in a lot of ways, and we have a lot of advantages. And I feel like sh you should use them. Mm -hmm. and don't be scared to 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 branch out, or you know, just try to fit in this box. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times we just try to fit in a box, and 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 don't you know branch out a little bit more, and just be be more willing to yeah, just express yourself even with you. Even though I, I like that you that you have this, and I, I think it's dope. And I, I hope it grows because I want people to be able to see more of you, just even how you 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 talking to all of these different people, and even with you, like how you said, like how I talk to OGs and stuff like that. Like you talk to a lot of important women, even just within our within our community, that's doing a lot of good things and, and stuff like that. And you know, you're you're one of those people too. Thank you. So, Thank you. So yeah, I mean. Um, Anytime you call me, I'm a, I'm a always be there for you. I can yeah. always yeah. depend on you. Yeah, even if I feel like uh, what you what you asking me for, <laughs> yeah. I can definitely always depend on you. Yeah. And if Matthew was here, then I'd be you know. Oh, yeah, you'd be on him, but I will be on him. It's his type of thing. <laughs> yeah, when you walk away, like, ah, talk, yeah, <laughs> but talk I can him. always <laughs> depend on you. And so yeah, I yeah. just thank you for who you are in my life, yeah. and you know. um and I'm just, as a big sister, I'm going to talk as a big sister. Because it's like you bought big brother. But, you know, just, you're, you know, what you're doing, who you are. And I just celebrate you. I honor you. 
And I just pray that you continue to evolve how you want to evolve. Do what you want to do, yeah. you know, and um, go where you want to go. You know, um, don't go too far. I might still need you, mm -hmm. you know. Maybe. No, I appreciate that. You know, I so I appreciate that. that. Do you have anything else for us? No, not really. Mm -hmm. um, I, uh... Great dad, super superhero dad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I... This is the first time we had this mm -hmm. conversation, so maybe if we do do it again, I'll you be, you gonna come on again? I'll be a little bit more comfortable. Okay. You know. What I'm saying? think you did great. I think I did all right. Yeah. Be a, be a little more. Yeah, come little, on again. A little more relaxing, and we can have conversations about about the stuff that we really talk about. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, the relationships. And, you wanna dive deep into that? Yeah, we can really dive into that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe I'll be more okay with you know. Maybe somebody has something to say about what I but it's not caring. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they're yeah. my real perspective on, on a lot of stuff. Yeah. But uh I yeah, I, I like that. I, I like that we did this because, you know, I do wanna branch out a little bit more. Like I push you to do that, but that's more so me projecting too. Because I'm I'm saying it, but I need to do it myself. Yeah. I don't so, say anything, but I know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Mm -hmm. So you know, you doing this, it, you know, gives me motivation to, mm -hmm. to be better and to, and to improve. So, yeah. so I'll be looking forward to some things. Yeah, yeah, give me some time. <laughs> but <laughs> we can definitely do something. I'll be yeah. looking forward to yeah. some things. You, yeah. you got some things up your sleeve. And I'll be, yeah. I'm a, if I don't push you, you know, verbally, I'm going to be praying. Right. Real right. hard. Yeah. Yeah. Real hard for it. Yeah. But thank you so much. I no appreciate problem. you and I love you. I love you too.